Hey, what's going on, you guys? Today is demo day. Welcome back to RVR, and today we are picking up a bunch of new implements. We've got a lot of new implements coming in, and uh, of course, we have more tractors coming in yet as well, but those will be here all in good time. Uh, today, we've actually got a demo on the 8RX over here. The, this tractor just right here. We just got this sucker in brand spanking new, and somebody wants to demo it. So we're sending it out to him. We're going to let him run it for about uh, five hours here is what we're going to allot him. Uh, so we've got to get that delivered, but we're going to be running it with some tillage. He's going to be trying some tillage in it here today. So we've actually, uh, we're going to connect up one of the tillage implements that we have formed to test that out with. Now, unfortunately, that is not going to be John Deere, but, um, you know what? It'll be fine. So I'm trying to think of what I want to use to haul this stuff out, and I don't think we need to use the pal, the uh, the more pallet level kind of truck here. Um, so I think we'll probably just use the TLX right here to haul all the stuff. So let's hop up in it, fire it up. To be honest with you, I don't even know if I need to really load this stuff up to get it over here. I think this is going to be more so to take this to the guy who's going to be demoing it today. So that's probably what we'll do. We'll just drive that stuff over here, but use this for that guy's demo. Uh, we're going to hop out and disconnect that. And now we'll pull this truck forward and just off up over here out of the way. And that will do. There we go. I had a couple straps sitting on here, so we better take those off real quick. There we go. All right. So, um, I suppose we could load up the 8RX right now, but what I want to do is I'm actually just going to use the little 7610 right here to haul that stuff over here. So let's disconnect this and we're going to take off that right there. Come on. There we go. We got all that taken off now and we can hop back up in the 60 7610 fire it up there we go and we're just gonna use this little guy to haul that stuff over to our yard because it all gets delivered down here to our business partner unfortunately they don't deliver it directly to us which is fine and here we are so we've got three balers in this massive plow this disc and then this little ripper right here this little disc and this is the one that we're going to send with the 8RX. It is a little small, but um, the 8RX can't handle that big one. That thing is huge, so we're not going to give that to him. Let's hook all that up. Make sure the lines are all connected there. There we go. Let's pull this right on over back to our place. And we're going to keep that going. We're going to haul these back and forth, back and forth. So we'll take this over, haul a couple more things over, hop in the truck, go deliver that, do the demo, come back, and finish bringing back all of those items over there. All right, and since we're actually going to be using this little guy, I'm thinking about maybe just loading it right on up onto the trailer here already. Now, whether or not the full unit can fit with the tractor and implement, on a single trailer, I'm doubting. I think we're gonna have to haul them both down in separate loads. We're gonna miss this just slightly. Need to get over a little bit farther there. And there we go. Just keep going her back. And you know what? Hmm. Let me just look at this here and contemplate. So that fits on there actually ridiculously well. I would really like to put that on there exactly like that almost. But that would mean there's no way that this is going to fit with the with the 8RX. There's just no way at all. So we are going to go ahead and just drop this right here. So we've got that put onto a trailer. Um, we'll strap that down here in a second and take it down to them. But right now, we need to run on over and pick up one more thing over here at least. Uh, all right, I'm not going to pull that massive thing quite yet. I think we'll just pull one of these balers. So, whoopsies, put her in reverse, Jake. So let's back right on up into here and get connected to this baler. Just right on up. There we go. That ought to be good. Hop out. Let's run back here. Give it a little connect. Put that jack up. We're all good to go. All right. Let's get this on over back to our dealership. Luckily, it's a quick little drive. So we are using a tractor that we have for sale to be running all this stuff down and back. And you know what, guys? I think eventually we'll just buy our own yard tractor. 
Um, and I call it a yard tractor, but it, it'll be bigger than that. Ooh, hold on a second. So we're going to put this over here next to the other hay equipment. So let's see here. Um, actually, yeah, I think we can just kind of ride on back into this spot almost here. Right there ought to do. Let's hop out and check. And uh, we got a ton of room. Honestly, that's good for me. All right, let's take that PTO off right here. Come on. Come on, little PTO. Oh, you got to be kidding me. And there we go. And let's detach. There we go. Okay. Um, let's shut this down right here for the time being. And we're going to get this disc down to the client. And then we're going to get the 8RX down to the client. Do their demo. And we'll come back and move the rest of those items. So... Let's put some straps down on this here. There we go. And let's get it loaded up and down the road. So we're gonna pull right on out of here and uh, we've just got a little bit of a drive ahead of us just down to the other part of our, our county here. They're actually not too far. And then uh, we will come back and get that 8RX to take down them so they can complete their demo here today. All right, we've got a right-hand turn coming up right up here. So slow this truck down. Nobody's coming. We should be able to make this turn nice and wide. Let's watch that right there. We go. Flat nose. The cab over, making it real easy. And there we go. Snuck right on around. Beautiful. And the farm is just right up here on our right. This is where we're taking this stuff. In fact, thinking about it, I could have probably just taken the highway just north of here. Because um, that leads literally right past our place. <laughs> oh, well. All right. Here we are. We're going to pull on into his place and get this unloaded. And then we'll come back with the 8RX. So... Let's just find ourselves a good place to pull off here and unload. All right, so this guy's tractor right now is nothing crazy. It's a Case 150 Maxim. Uh, it's about 100, 150 horsepower, roughly. Um, so nothing huge. Let's fire it up, and we're going to use his tractor to unload this implement. And uh, he wants to be able to compare this tractor to his tractor. So we're going to let him... Um, we're going to let him run this tractor on this implement here for a little while and then once we come back with the 8RX he'll run it with that. He's going to notice a big difference though because this tractor doesn't have near the horsepower needed to hold this. Alright, let's hook up those lines. There we go. And all these straps off. Perfect. One more. One more. There we go. And we'll pull it right on off the trailer here. Nice and easy. There we go. So we've got this delivered. Now we'll let him run out in his field here for a little bit. I'll just go ahead and line him up and uh, we'll go pick up the 8RX so we can then test out the 8RX. All right, there he goes. He's going to test that. And uh, while he's doing that, we are going to go get the 8RX for him. So let's hop back up into our truck. There he goes. Honk, honk. All right, we are back. We're going to slow down whip right on into our driveway and pick up the 8RX and take that on down to him here. All right, we're all loaded up, ready to roll. Let's get this on down to the client. Wow, look at that. And the amount of time it took us to go load up and stuff, he's only made a pass and a half. That little case is struggling, isn't it, dude? <laughs> uh, you know what? Here, let's just quickly whip this onto the side. And we'll unload right here on the side of the road. Where is he at? There he is right there. We're going to get this unloaded right here, ready for him to go. He's literally going to be right here. We'll just pull right on out and we'll line ourselves up ready to take over what he's doing. And there we go. Let's take, let's, oh, hey, 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 whoa, 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 buddy, whoa. All right, Case can just go right on over here real quick. That'll be fine. I'll drive that back for him. Let's get them hooked up. All right, there we go. Got it all hooked up. Let's go ahead and drop it down and let them know that they're good to go. And there they go. Look at that. That's a lot faster. Woo. Oh, I'm sure they're going to love that. So they're going to demo that for a little while. I'm just going to go ahead and run their, uh, their case down alongside here. 
and get it back to where it belongs for him. So you have fun with that. I'm going to fly real too fast down here into your yard and just park this up for you real quick. Then we're going to get back in our truck, run back home to, or run back to the dealer and finish what we we're doing out there. So shut that down. All right, let's go get our truck. We're going to let him run that for a few hours. And if he needs anything, he can just call us. And there we go. Got this back. Let's go and turn off all the lights, everything. And we'll get back to uh, moving the last few pieces of equipment on over here to the dealership. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this one. Hopefully you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a little thumbs up. Thank you all so much for watching. And until next time, I'll see y'all later. Peace. Can you picture you and me in the darkness? Kissing, touching.